Makita's new 18 volt ratchet. We'll get to the meat of it in just a moment. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. This is the Makita XRW01Z if you want the bare tool. And it comes in either a bare tool or you can get it in a kit with a two amp hour battery and a charger. Now something unique about this is you get a 3 8 drive anvil and a quarter inch drive anvil and you can easily switch these things out. Uh, it has a pretty good top speed if you will, if there is a top speed to a ratchet. And it's supposed to have 35 foot pounds of force. Now let's dig into the features of this and actually take a closer look. And then we'll take it over to the test bench and test it out. Come back, talk about price and warranty. We're looking at the Makita XRW01Z and it is their 18 volt ratchet. Now, it's not specifically a quarter inch or 3 8 drive ratchet because it comes with both anvils. Uh, this is something that's pretty unique uh, to cordless ratchets. In fact, Makita is the only one that I know of that's doing this. So uh, basically the head here, which by the way can also be used as a half inch drive or 13 millimeter uh, wrench or socket, if you will. And that's what the anvil has on the back side is like a, uh, a half inch or 13 millimeter hex nut. And that will pop right in here into place. So now I've got the quarter inch drive in there. Or if I want to pop that out, I can just take a screwdriver or this little nut driver and pop that out. So it's got this little retaining ring right here that's kind of spring loaded or springs into position here when it pops in and locks into place. So now I've got the 3 8 drive in there. Now the directional lever is a little bit different on the Makita than a lot of other of your uh, cordless ratchet. So it's got this little lever right here which you can flip from one side to the other. There's little detents here where when you put it all the way over it kind of clicks into place uh, for that to retain it. And again, pretty easy to see. To the right is going to be uh, for turning left and flip it over to your other way and that's going to be for turning right or for tightening. So we'll leave the 3 8 drive in there. We have an LED light right here that shines down on our work. Uh, and by the way, if you have seen their uh, CXT, this is the LXT model. So meaning it's running on the 18 volt platform. And we're also getting 35 foot pounds of torque out of this. And we'll test that here in a few moments. Uh, and then we have a pretty large trigger here. Uh, I like to see that. A lot of times you may have a small trigger. I don't like that in the ratchet. I, I love to see kind of a paddle style, but this is close enough where I can easily grasp with, with one or a couple of my fingers. And depending on how I have my hand in here, I can still easily grab that trigger. So I like to see that enlarged trigger on something like a ratchet or a grinder. So you can easily assess that regardless of what position you're in. Because a lot of times you may be holding it like this as well. So it needs to be easily accessible for any of your appendages to be able to press that button. And it is a variable speed. So I can barely grab that trigger and make it just about crawl. Or I can get the full 800 RPMs out of it. So we get zero to 800 RPMs right here from the variable speed trigger. Now what I was talking about is this is on the LXT platform, which is the 18 volt. And they have their CXT model as well, which is their 12 volt, which is right here. Now, if they look remarkably similar, it's because they really are. They're really, really close. If, if not almost identical, obviously one's running a 18 volt uh, platform. The other one's running a 12 volt. But for the most part, through the body up to the battery, it's about the same. Uh, the head looks almost identical, if not identical, and the bodies as well. Uh, but again, the difference being this is running the 12 volt and this is running the 18 volt. And I will say as soon as they launched the, uh, the 12 volt, everybody said, where's the 18 volt? And so voila, Makita has released the XRW01Z for bare tool, 18 volt cordless ratchet. Now up here on top of the tool, we have a lockout. So basically that's gonna lock out the button. So the LED doesn't come on, the ratchet doesn't turn on. So you're throwing it in your toolbox or throwing it in your truck, and then flip that lock on and that's gonna keep it from, uh, from using up that battery. Now I have it here with the 2.0 amp hour battery on it uh, because this is the way you can get it kitted. And quite frankly, kind of the slimmest profile, if you will, with that 18 volt hanging off the back here. Um, so that's why I have it paired with this. You could run a five amp hour on it if you wanted to, 
But again, I think this is gonna be the most common and the most useful. Now, ergonomics on this is, is quite fine. Uh, for, a, for a ratchet, it's not that heavy anyway, so it's not like it's going to wear you out. A uh, typical rubber over molding like you would see on Makita, which is very well done. Uh, nothing kind of overly done, engineered well. Uh, nice and nice center of gravity here with that 2.0 battery. You can see it's a, got a nice balance here uh, with that 2.0 battery. So it's, it's not tail heavy, nor is it, is it head heavy either. So I would say that battery works really, really well. Lengthwise, this tool is right at 14 inches without the battery. And then you're gonna stick out about another inch um, on that battery and it's gonna be about 15 inches overall length. And then on the width uh, with that battery, you're right at three inches of, of width. And then here through the body, um, right at two inches. Now thickness of the head with the directional lever, uh, you're at right about an inch without the anvil. So uh, maybe inch and an eight with the flat spot of the anvil and then you get your half inch of anvil sticking out as well. Let's get a weight on this also. And so we'll let that zero out for a second. And then with the 2.0 amp hour battery, uh, you're looking at two pounds, 13 ounces. So two and three quarter pounds for the ratchet and the battery. I'm not gonna weigh it without the battery because that makes no sense. That's not how you would use it, even though it could be used as a 13 millimeter wrench, but probably not very feasible. So let's take the Makita ratchet and see what kind of trouble we can get into in testing. Okay, here's what we're gonna do first. The Makita 18 volt ratchet is rated at 35 foot pounds of torque. Now, I've mentioned this many times before. I'll probably even re-mention this in, in the conclusion that I really don't care how much torque a ratchet has or cordless ratchet has, as long as it has enough force to run a nut off. So in other words, we've got all these threads right here. I want, I want this ratchet to be able to run that nut all the way off the, uh, the threads. And then even in the situation of say nylock nuts like I have over here, I want it to be able to run that off without me having to give manual input. At the same time, I'm not expecting this to be an impact wrench because that is not what it is. It's a ratchet. And again, I want it to be a ratchet. I have right angle impact wrenches. I have impact wrenches to be impact wrenches. So that's my point here. I'm not expecting this to do 100 foot pounds. I'm not even expecting it to do the full 35 foot pounds but we will test it to see if it does because kudos to, to it if it can do that. Uh, but again, I want it for nut running, just like on a ratchet when you're taking a nut or a bolt out or off, then you want to be able to use that to run that nut off. Um, not necessarily be an impact wrench or a breaker bar. No comments on the breaker bar, we understand. Anyway, so let's get started. What I'm gonna do here, I'm going to tor torque these first three in this row here, or that would be a column. Uh, this first column at 10 foot pounds. Then I'm gonna go 15, then 25 and 35, and 35 is the max. Uh, and then we'll test these nylock uh, nuts here as well. So here we go, 10 foot pounds. Fifteen foot pounds. Now twenty five foot pounds. And then we'll go to 35 foot pounds. Okay, so again, we have 10 foot pounds, 15 foot pounds, then we jump to 25 and then 35. Okay, so here we are at 10 foot pounds. Okay, let's try it over here. go. So I'm just going to try to rest this right against the floor or the uh, worktop so I'm not giving it any help and pull the trigger. Okay, again. Okay, so 10 foot-pounds, no problem. We'll go to 15. Okay, with the 2 amp hour battery, it doesn't seem like it's wanting to loosen the 15 foot-pounds. 
Let's try the five amp hour. And by the way, the two amp hour, we were full charge. We're gonna go to the five amp hour. And back to the 15 foot pounds. Doesn't seem to want to do it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Doesn't seem to want to do that either. Okay, with it not locked down, seems like it broke that free a little easier. So I'm gonna to go to the 25 and not even holding it and then definitely against the worktop, nothing. Okay, so no at the 25 either. Now, now this is what some people say. Well, let it get a run and then shove it on there, which I don't agree with, but we'll do it just for that sake. Okay. So yes, getting a run at it. Now 35 foot pounds, let's just test. No, nothing. Okay, getting a run at it. Nope. which that's a good way to mess up your sockets. But anyway, we gave it a try. So again, I do not put a lot of weight into that test we just did, but everyone always wants to see that. So there you have it. So it broke free 10 foot pounds and some of the 15 foot pounds. I uh, did not do the 25 or the 35, no matter kind of which way we did it, unless we got a run at it, which again, I don't ag agree with that either. But many of you have said that, so you've seen it. Now, here's the important thing to me, and I know this may seem, you know, pretty, uh, pretty simple process, if you will, or a pretty simple test, but to me, that's what this is meant for, is for running off nuts and bolts, and here I have three nylock bolts, uh, or three nylock nuts, all of them progressively getting bigger. I think this first one's 12 millimeter, then 13 millimeter, and 14 millimeter, or 9 16, so we'll go right here. And let me break that free. And I can run that off no problem. Go to the 12 millimeter nut. Again, let me break it free. Once I break it free. And then the 13 millimeter nut. No problem at all. So as far as being able to run off a, a nylon fastener or a, uh, a lock nut, if you will, it has no problem doing that. Also, you can put manual input on the Makita. So if you're needing to finish tightening something, you can kind of bear down on it. Or if you need to loosen something, then you can also bear down on it. We're gonna test that here in just one moment. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to torque these three nuts to 100 foot-pounds. So I've got my torque wrench, torque wrench set to 100 foot-pounds. Okay, so I've torqued these three to over 100 foot-pounds, and I'm going to take my ratchet, going to manually loosen each one of these nuts to make sure this ratchet can handle, handle any manual input you're gonna give it before you pull the trigger and run the nuts off. Okay. No problem. There we go. So that's one of the tests, that's another one of the tests that I think is very important because Nobody wants to break something free and get, then get their cordless ratchet. Also, nobody wants to tighten something up and then go get a ratchet to finish tightening it. You want to actually put in that extra umph when you get done. So you want to run that nut on and then be able to tighten that on your own. And you can do that without hurting this ratchet.
If you've watched any of my videos on cordless ratchets, you've heard me say it many times, not just with this Makita, is that I don't believe that torque has much to say about cordless ratchets. I need it to be able to run the nuts off if it needs to, but as long as I can put manual force to break it free and manual force to finish tightening, I'm fine with that. It doesn't need a ton of torque to run those on or off. As long as it can just do that job, I can finish tightening it. I can also break it free. Now, there are impact wrenches to handle that when you need 100 foot-pounds of force. Now, they're claiming 35 foot-pounds of force in this, and you saw we didn't really get that, which, again, with all of our other cordless ratchets we've tested, we typically don't see that with those either. Every once in a while, one of them may hit what they claim to be, but for the most part, we don't see it. But that's not the end of the road for me, or that's not the end all be all for me. I believe, again, that it's a nut running device, not an impact wrench. It does that quite well. It also holds up quite fine with putting manual input on it. We saw it with 100 foot pounds. We tightened those bolts to 100 foot pounds. We used this to break it free. Really didn't feel much flex. Did I feel a little flex? Absolutely. It is a plastic covered tool. So you're going to feel some flex in it but it wasn't bad whatsoever. We like the 18 volt ratchet. Now, it's not a lot different from its 12 volt counterpart. In fact, they look pretty much identical all the way to the battery. I will say that we like the 18 volt much better than 12 volt, but that doesn't mean that there's not a job for this either. Now, as far as our thoughts on the swappable anvils, I don't think this is gonna be really appealing to a pro, but at the same time, it's not a takeaway. It's not a, a negative, if you will, or strike against them because buy you a 3 8 one and buy you one for a quarter inch and just leave the anvils in there. So it's not a bad thing. I'm just saying as a pro, I'm probably not gonna be swap, swapping out those anvils. I want one with a quarter inch drive and I want one with a 3 8 drive and I wish they did one with a half inch drive as well. But again, this feature for a DIYer or for somebody that's just kind of entering the trade, then it might work out great for you to save a little money until you can buy another one. But I'm telling you as a pro, I want to reach in, I want to grab a 3 8 or I want to grab a quarter inch and, and I don't want to bother with changing that out. But as I mentioned, I'm not counting that as a strike. I'm just mentioning that uh, and see if you agree. By the way, let me know if you don't. Price. This is a $159 bear tool. So as a bear tool, the XRW01Z, uh, that costs you $159. You get a three year warranty with that. Now the better deal is getting it with the two amp hour battery for $229 because for $229 you get the battery, the tool and the charger and a beautiful bag. I mean, how, how do you pass that up? Anyway, so check it out for yourselves. Again, it's the Makita LXT 18 volt ratchet and model number is the XRW01. Also, would you keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter? And if you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button? Only if you like this video. If you hated our video, then by all means, give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.